An investigation gets results. This week, a group of disabled veterans told us their bus stop is too far away from a VA clinic in Northeast Charlotte. They told us the walk for them was nearly yeah. impossible. And today, WBTV Steve Crump took their complaints to a local congressman. Now the city is taking action. Steve live at the government center with new developments in this story tonight. Steve? Yeah, Jamie, and we spoke with CATS officials earlier this afternoon, and they told us that they plan to revisit the situation at that VA clinic and see what it will take to get vehicles closer to the front door. But you, we saw it several times earlier this week, a lot of those veterans struggling on what's a very tough road. That's a superstar. When it comes to getting patients in and out of North Charlotte's VA clinic, Congressman Robert Pittenger has a simple request for decision makers at CATS. Give the place another look and try again to make it more exciting for those who rely on public transportation. Oh, they got a prosthetic limb, uh, you know, they're in wheelchairs. These people have real needs. The walk of two tenths of a mile from the transit stop at Back Creek Drive to this health care facility can be a struggle for those who are disabled. It's on a dead end street and you know, it's, it's like the bus service was an afterthought, you know, after it was already in place. And, you know, it's just difficult location to get to. We sat down with CATS planning director Larry Kopp, who says despite the difficulties, he plans to honor the congressman's request. I don't know what's going to be different, but we'll go look at it again. For those who ride the number 29 bus, moving closer to the door and avoiding two sets of tall stairs could ease a troublesome burden. But for the older guys that's got problems, it's a big problem for them. If you got any kind of, you know, pediment, it, it, it'll be a problem for you. The city worries about issues like wear and tear on the parking lot or having drivers that can maneuver to and from the building. But the congressman feels that ailing veterans deserve a better transportation delivery system. They have put their lives on the line, and we won't try to figure out every possible way we can accommodate their need just to make it up the hill. Now, a CAT spokesperson told us late this afternoon they're suggesting those who are disabled reach out to the STS services. Those are the special vehicles that can provide door-to-door -door service. Meanwhile, no word tonight on when they plan to make that next road test. For now, we're in Center City, Charlotte. Steve from WBTV on your side. Well, I think everyone at home is saying, Steve, boy, this has got to be solved. There's got to be a way to do this. City Councilman Michael Barnes, who represents the district, said that he would like to see state or federal money used to widen the road so buses could turn around at the dead-end street near the clinic. Thank you.